What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? I have another exciting video. I posted this picture on Instagram and a lot of you seemed really excited to see this video. So here it is. Pluggable sent me their new ethernet adapter. Now, if you've been following my channel for a couple years now, I did a video on, it's called Connect Your Transformer Prime to an Ethernet Cable. And I use their USB, like a micro USB OTG cable, and then their USB adapter. So there was kind of like a middleman. There was a little cable that went to a full-size USB port, and then a full-size USB to Ethernet. This simplifies that, and it's so freaking awesome. I saw this from their blog post. You can follow that if you'd like to for when they get new products and stuff. I get new emails when they launch new things. And I'm always excited to try new things. So like all their stuff, super easy to open. I'll let you pause that and read all that for yourself if you'd like to. Kind of talks about, you know, the RAM, VLAN, how fast it is, and etc. So let's go ahead and pull this little guy out. Now we do have Google Fiber. So this is going to be kind of interesting to see how fast we can get our speeds going. We are connected to our Wi-Fi. I'll go ahead and just show you that. This is our five gigahertz network. We are at five gigahertz, of course. Uh, that is my internal IP address, not my external, so you can't get anything out of that. For those of you that think you can, the router is right behind me. I'm getting a 324 megabit per second link speed. Usually that's 866. I don't know why it's being so slow, but we're gonna go ahead and do a speed test real quick using just our Wi-Fi. The fastest I've ever gotten on this was like 300, and I posted that on my Instagram, I believe. So let's see what we get today on our Wi-Fi. So we're getting 170 with a five millisecond ping. That's a little bit of a disappointment because this phone's capable of reaching a one millisecond ping and going at 300 because it has before in the past. So we'll try that one more. There we go. That's much better. That's much better. 256. This is just USB 2.0. So uh, the limitations there are going to be that. I don't even think we're going to see 250. So that's that's <laughs> that's that. Whoa, that's our best one yet, actually. 286. All right, so there are our current speed test results. Let's go ahead and plug this little guy in. I've got this cable going to a gigabit switch. I actually wanted Google Fiber in this room so bad that I bought a 100-foot Ethernet cable and I tucked it under the carpet all the way into this bedroom and then I put it into a switch so I could have gigabit speeds in here on my PlayStation 4, Xbox One, etc. So let's go ahead and plug this in and then we're going to plug this into the bottom of our Nexus 6 here and then we should see little lights on here in a second and there we go. We have a orange blinky light and we have a green light that's staying lit. Our Wi-Fi is saying, hey, there's some kind of an issue that will go away and it'll just be wired. This is a custom ROM, so I'm hoping it doesn't interfere with things and you should stop doing the speed test right now. Okay, sweet, awesome. So now it has disconnected our Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and just turn off our Wi-Fi so it doesn't try to keep connecting. And just to show you we have internet, we'll go ahead and run a speed test. And we will show you the little lights on here too so you can see what's going on with that. I'll run begin test with it connected to ethernet and we'll see what kind of speeds we get. There we go, we have a one millisecond ping. This is a USB 2.0 connection and the maximum speed you can get is 100 megabits per second. So while we are going to get faster Wi-Fi, you may be in an area where you're not going to be able to get good Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi signal might be terrible, or there might not be Wi-Fi at all, like on a campus or something where all you have is access to an Ethernet port. This will give you, you know, Ethernet on your mobile device. Anything with the micro USB cable that runs Android, or even like a Windows tiny tablet or something. This will work with that too. So obviously we're not going to get the speeds that we got through Wi-Fi, because 5 gigahertz is faster than USB 2.0. But it is what it is. I mean, not everybody has Google Fiber, so they're not going to even see speeds this high. Let's go to our results here. And you can see that for some reason it's saying we're on cell signal, but we are not on cell signal. We are using this little guy right here. So let's go ahead and unplug that, connect back to our Wi-Fi, and we will plug this into our Note 4. All right, so here's our Note 4. 
my Instagram loaded up. So quick little shout out to all the people that go to my Instagram and like my photos that I post and comment on them and stuff. Definitely need this in my life. <laughs> shout out to Reykjavik. Okay, so we're on Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and see what happens. This is a stock ROM. Let's go ahead and plug this into our Note 4 here. And the little lights should come on in a second. They did. And now it's flashing. I want to see how the Note handles this. Again, this is a stock phone. I don't know if it's going to disconnect our Wi-Fi, if it's going to. Let's go ahead and just disconnect our Wi-Fi so uh, there's no confusion. And let's turn off data. Is there a way to do that from here? Let's just go ahead and turn off our data. Okay. Now it's turned off. Now we're just using this. Let's run a speed test. The little lights on there is blinking. It says there's network communication issues. So the Note 4 itself might be causing issues with that working. Let's go try a different device. This should be interesting. I haven't pulled this guy out in a little while. I mean, I was using it to play real racing and I did recently reset it because I've had it for a couple years now and so much stuff was on there that I was getting tired of, you know, there was so many apps I didn't use. So I went ahead and just reset it and installed real racing since it's really the only thing I play on here. So let's plug this into the back of our Nvidia shield here. I can't show you the lights too well, but the little light should come on. There we go. I will have that so you can see the little blinky light there. Now look at that, it changed an icon there and it no longer says Wi-Fi. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and install the speed test app. As you can see, we are doing things without Wi-Fi at the moment, so this is pretty cool. Open that up. And it is like that, so I gotta kinda move it to see it better. Let's go ahead and run a speed test on here. See what kind of speeds we get. I'm assuming it's about the same 90 something. Yep, because that is again the theoretical limitation of USB 2.0 and a 100 megabit per second link speed. So this device does have five gigahertz Wi-Fi at a 300 megabit per second link speed. So I will get faster speeds over Wi-Fi than I will wired. But if I'm in a situation where there is no wireless, there's only wired, I'll still have internet with this little guy right here. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I will have a link to this product in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to stay in touch with me. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.